There are 19 new biblical predictions that seem to be coming true right now before our eyes. In today's chaotic world, many are turning to ancient scriptures, seeking to understand the guidance. The Bible, with its profound prophecies, has been a source of fascination for believers and skeptics alike. As events unfold that seem to echo these ancient predictions, it's worth exploring that the Bible might say about our current times. There are 19 of them. Let's cover it. Wars and rumors of wars. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed. For this must take place, but the end is not near. Matthew 24, 6 Nation will rise against nation. For nations will rise against nations and kingdom against kingdoms. Matthew 24, 7 Famines and earthquakes. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Matthew 24, 7 Persecution of believers. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and put you to death, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Matthew 24 9. Increase in lawlessness. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love for many will grow cold. Matthew 24 12. False prophets. And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. Matthew 24, 11. The gospel preached worldwide, and this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. Matthew 24, 14. Signs in the heavens. And there will be signs in the sun and the moon and stars, and on the earth distress of the nations in perplexity because of the roaring of the seas and the waves. Luke 21, 25. The rebuilding of the third temple. Some believe that the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem is a sign of the end of times. 2 Thessalonians 2, 4. The rise of the Antichrist. Let no one deceive you in any way, for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first, and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction. 2 Thessalonians 2 3. The mark of the beast. Also, it caused all, both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or the forehead. Revelations 13.6 The two witnesses, and I will grant authority to many two, to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. Revelations 11.3 The Euphrates River will dry up, the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. Revelation 16.12 The Battle of Armageddon And they assembled them at the place that is in Hebrew called Armageddon, or Megiddo. Revelations 16.16 the return of the Jews to Israel. The return of the Jews to Israel after centuries of diaspora has been seen by some as a fulfillment of biblical prophecy. Ezekiel 37:21. The rise of a global economy. Some interpret the rise of a global economy as being predicted in the Bible. Revelations 13:7. Natural disasters. There will be great earthquakes, and in various places, famines and pestilence, and there will be terrors and great signs from the heavens. Luke 21 11. Moral decay. But understand this 
that in the last days there will come times of difficulty for people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful and unholy. 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 2. Mockers of the end of times. Knowing this, first of all, the scoffers will come in the last days with scoffing, following their own sinful desires. 2 Peter 3.3 3. Mockers of the end of times, knowing this, first of all, will come in the last days with scoffing, following their own sinful desires. 2 Peter 3.3 3. And so with that being said, things that we need to be aware of are the end of days. The things that are taking place right now with the pestilence, the rumors of wars and wars, and the specific time and occurrences and locations of where the current battle is happening uh, with Hamas and Israel currently is at the uh, area, the valley of Megiddo, close to Jezreel and in the horse's bridle. Um, very few um, battles have been fought at that point in time, with all the other events falling in perfect harmony with the timing and location of this battle. For instance, the Euphrates River never dried up prior to and following after the pestilence of what we just went through in 2020. The worldwide economy has never seen what it's seen until recently leading up to this current battle that we're having at Megiddo. With all that being said, prepare yourselves. Prepare yourselves and your families. Are you right with the Lord? If you're not right with the Lord, then let me go ahead and lead us with a, a prayer of salvation and that way we can make sure that we are right with God. Um, our prayer for salvation um, will begin here momentarily. So we're going to go ahead and get that started here for you. Um, repeat after me with your heart and your mind open. Dear Heavenly Father, I realize that I am a sinner and have broken your laws. I understand that my sin has separated me from you. I am sorry and I ask for you to forgive me. I accept the fact that your son, Jesus Christ, died for me, was resurrected, and is alive today. And here's my prayers. I now open my heart's door and invite Jesus in to become my Lord and my Savior. I give him total control and ask that he would rule and reign in my heart so that his perfect will would be accomplished in my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Well, if you just prayed that prayer, welcome to the family of, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Through him, all of his blood has been shed and spilled for your forgiveness, for my forgiveness of all of the sins that we've ever done. Thank you for watching. If this was, if this was informative to you, please share and like. And thank you so much for watching. God bless.